For 30 long years he existed as a phantom, a whisper in the digital corridors of the internet, a mastermind who orchestrated one of the most widespread and disruptive cyber attacks the world had ever seen, yet remained frustratingly out of reach. This was no ordinary criminal but a ghost in the machine, a Filipino genius who shook the world with a single, devastatingly brilliant piece of code, the love bug. His name once whispered in hushed tones in internet cafes and university computer labs, became synonymous with both brilliance and infamy, Onel de Guzman. His story however is not just about a virus, but about the untapped potential that resides within a nation yearning for recognition on the global stage. This is the story of how a young man armed with nothing but a computer and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge exposed the world's vulnerabilities and forced us to confront the ever-growing power of the digital age. This is the story of the Filipino genius who shook the world. Onel de Guzman's journey began not in the hallowed halls of a prestigious university, but in the bustling, crowded streets of Manila. Born into modest circumstances, his playground was not of lush green fields, but the concrete jungle of the city. Even as a young boy Onel displayed an uncanny aptitude for technology, devouring any scrap of information he could find about computers. This fascination however was tempered by the harsh realities of his environment. Access to computers and the internet was a luxury, and formal education in computer science seemed a distant dream. Undeterred, Onel's passion burned bright. He spent countless hours in internet cafes, teaching himself the intricacies of programming languages, absorbing knowledge like a sponge. His was a talent forged not in privilege but in perseverance, a testament to the human spirit's ability to thrive even in the most challenging of circumstances. It was during these formative years surrounded by the limitations of his environment that Onel's motivations began to take shape. He saw firsthand the disparity between the haves and have-nots in the digital age, the vast chasm that separated those with access to technology and those without. This awareness, coupled with his burgeoning skills, planted the seeds for what would become one of the most audacious acts of digital rebellion the world had ever seen. The year was 2000. The world was on the cusp of a new millennium, grappling with the rapid proliferation of the internet and the seemingly limitless possibilities it offered. Yet, beneath the surface of this technological optimism lurked a vulnerability, a chink in the armor of the digital world that few had anticipated. It was into this environment that the love bug wormed its way, disguised as an innocent message of affection. I love you, the subject line declared, enticing unsuspecting users to open the attached file. What lay dormant within that seemingly innocuous file, however, was far from romantic. Onel de Guzman's creation, a self-replicating computer worm, sprang to life, spreading with terrifying speed through email systems across the globe. Businesses ground to a halt as networks crashed under the weight of the virus's relentless replication. Government agencies, from the Pentagon to the British Parliament, found themselves caught in the love bug's web. The virus, exploiting a potent combination of social engineering and technical prowess, had infiltrated the very heart of the connected world. The impact was swift and devastating. Estimates suggest that the love bug caused billions of dollars in damage worldwide, disrupting critical infrastructure and highlighting the fragility of our increasingly digital lives. Yet, amidst the chaos and disruption, there was a grudging admiration for the sheer audacity and ingenuity of the attack. The world had been given a wake-up call, a stark reminder that even the most sophisticated systems were vulnerable to a well-crafted piece of code. As the love bug wreaked havoc across the globe, Authorities scrambled to identify the perpetrator behind the attack. The digital manhunt led investigators to the Philippines, where a combination of technical analysis and old-fashioned detective work pointed them towards a nondescript apartment in Manila. The world held its breath as news broke of the arrest of a young Filipino man named Onel de Guzman. Here, it seemed, was the mastermind behind the global chaos, the elusive hacker who had held the world hostage with a single piece of code. Yet, the story took an unexpected turn. Due to the lack of specific cybercrime laws in the Philippines at the time, charges against de Guzman were eventually dropped. He had evaded legal repercussions but the experience left an undeniable mark on his life. 
the once anonymous programmer found himself thrust into the spotlight, his name and face splashed across newspapers and television screens worldwide, the weight of his actions, the unintended consequences of his creation became a heavy burden to bear. In the years since the love bug, Onel de Guzman has retreated from the public eye, choosing a life of quiet anonymity. The once prolific programmer who had once dreamed of revolutionizing the tech world, now shies away from the very technology that brought him both fame and infamy. He has expressed remorse for the damage caused by the love bug, insisting that his intentions were never malicious. His goal, he maintains, was to expose security flaws not to cause harm. Despite his apologies, the shadow of the love bug continues to loom large. It serves as a stark reminder of the power and peril of the digital age, and the fine line between curiosity and criminal intent. The love bug, while undoubtedly a global crisis, also served as an unlikely catalyst for the Philippines. The world, caught off guard by the sheer brilliance of the attack, was forced to acknowledge the untapped potential that resided within this island nation. The Philippines, long known for its outsourcing industry, suddenly found itself recognized as a breeding ground for tech talent. The government, spurred by the global attention, began investing heavily in education and infrastructure hoping to cultivate the next generation of tech innovators. Universities expanded their computer science programs, and tech startups began to flourish. The love bug, in its own strange way, had opened the world's eyes to the potential of the Philippines. Onel de Guzman's story is a cautionary tale, a reminder that genius can be a double-edged sword. His brilliance, born out of circumstance and fueled by a thirst for knowledge, led him down a dangerous path, one that ultimately caused widespread harm. His story underscores the importance of ethical considerations in the realm of technology, the need to temper innovation with responsibility. It highlights the critical role of education and opportunity in guiding young minds towards constructive pursuits. De Guzman's talent, had it been nurtured in a different environment, could have been channeled towards revolutionizing industries, solving complex problems and improving lives. Instead, it was used to expose the world's vulnerabilities, leaving a trail of disruption in its wake. Despite the controversy, Onel de Guzman's legacy is a complex one. He will forever be linked to the love bug, a stark reminder of the potential for chaos in the digital age, Yet his story also serves as a source of inspiration, a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the human spirit. It is a call to action for governments and institutions to recognize and nurture talent, to provide opportunities for young people to harness their skills for the betterment of society. Onel de Guzman, the Filipino genius who shook the world, may have faded from the headlines, but his story continues to resonate reminding us that the next great innovation could come from the most unexpected of places.